Hello and welcome to a short tutorial on activity diagram from Adaptive Processes Consulting. Let's first understand why we need to develop activity diagrams. As you may be already aware, most software applications deal with automation of existing processes. So we need to understand these existing processes and also understand the future processes. And activity diagrams are a great help in doing that. Uh, these are also known as flowcharts and swimlane diagrams. So if you hear these terms, they are quite synonymous and they are used interchangeably. So we are going to use a tool called Bizazi Process Modeler, which is a free tool. And using Bizazi Process Modeler, we can draw uh, many kinds of processes, including uh, a parent-child relationship process. So let's go to Bizazi and see how do we do that. So I have installed Bizazi Process Modeler on my system and uh, once you open Bizazi Process Modeler you will see uh, something like this. So this is called a pull which is coming from swimming pool. So for example if we are interested to document or uh, create the activity diagram for a defect management system what we can do is we can come here and say F2 so it will allow you to uh, change the process name so I will just call this as defect management so we plan to uh, model the defect management process so if you see defect management has many roles which get interested in this particular process so we would have three main stakeholders who are interested in the defect management process the first one being the tester the second one being the project manager the third one being the developer and the fourth one being configuration manager. So we'll keep all these four roles intact. So this is, I'll just call it a CM. So if you understand, uh, these are the four main roles who would participate in the uh, defect management process. So typically the defect management process will start here. So what you can do is there is a green button which you can pull from uh, the palette to the swim lens. So these are called swim lens where the activities are depicted as per the um, actor or role. Okay. So once you create something it automatically gives you choices about what you can do. So the first thing what a tester will do will record a defect. So as soon as the application is provided to a tester the tester will test the application and record a defect. Then the project manager, what the project manager may do is to review the defect. So once the defect is reviewed, sorry, I clicked the wrong one, so I'll just remove this. It's quite easy drag and drop. So uh, the project manager may accept the defect or reject the defect. So if the defect is rejected, it is closed there is nothing for us to do okay so this is the rejected uh, thing so i'll just move it here okay or the project manager may accept so i'll just add text here so i'll say accept defect sorry these diamond boxes are mainly used for indicating a decision so here the project manager is taking a decision whether to accept the defect or not to accept the defect. So if the defect is accepted, what the project manager would do is to assign this defect to a developer. So what we would do, we would go here and create an activity which is assign defect to developer. So if you understand, all the activities that we are writing, they would always start with a verb indicating uh, somebody doing something in that process. So once the developer, um, uh, the project manager has assigned the developer, the developer would actually fix the defect, fix the defect, will also do a self test, okay, conduct self test, okay. If uh, after conducting the self test, if it passes, so 
if it doesn't pass then what he would do he would come back and again rework on it so we would what we would do we will take one line and we will connect it from sorry we will connect it from one end of the this thing to a recursive loop so we'll go back to fixing the defect okay so i think okay so now if you see here so what i would do i will go and connect back it's not that neat but we can take it down and we can further take it down so to indicate that if i have properly fixed it then it's okay so if it is not fixed i will go back so i'll edit the text here and call it as fixed okay i should put a question mark around this fixed if it is fixed then what the tester will do that he will take it and do a retesting so you do a retesting retest okay and if it is successful then so i'll just say it is successful edit text successful okay if it is successful then what the configuration manager would do is to deploy the fix so this will be deploy fix and then the process is closed okay so i can actually connect it here and if the fix is not successful like uh, the defect fails in the retest uh, it's not that neat okay so if it is not successful again what would happen is it will go back to our development uh, phase that the developer would again come back and try to fix the defect okay so this is how we can indicate that this is not successful okay so this is successful yes and this is successful no okay so where is the no went i think it went here Uh, these arrows are not that great but you can manage if you pull them down properly you can come back and so that this is connected here or you can pull this guy a little bit to the side okay so if you see here both these arrows kind of merge here so i'm just going to pull it down just for making it little bit cleaner so you loop back twice once from the self test and once from the uh, testers test okay so this is how you can actually uh, create an activity diagram and of course you can copy paste it in into your microsoft word document or excel document as you like so i'm just going to save this file uh, saying this is defect management process and save it okay so thank you for undergoing this small video learning on uh, uh, activity diagram uh, in case you would like to contact us please feel free to write to us at info@adaptiveprocesses.com at the telephone numbers are plus 9198064793 or plus 9193437948 thank you for undergoing this video and hope to interact with you in future